This is a strawberry daiquiri with the acidity of a daiquiri with lime juice, but there is no lime juice. This one is pineapple, and it's as tart as a normal daiquiri, but there is no lime. And this is a daiquiri with no juice, just rum, sugar, and water. Yet it has the same pop, the same zing, as one made with lime juice. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can acid adjust any cocktail accurately, quickly, and most importantly, extremely easily. This specific way to acid adjust a cocktail I shared in a video two years ago. But that video is a bit complicated and might be off-putting if you just want an easy solution, a literal easy solution. And I've slightly revised the recipe as well. So what is acid adjusting and why might you want to do it? The idea is simple. Drinks with lemon and lime juice provide acidity. Acidity provided mainly by citric and sometimes malic acids in the juice. This acidity helps add to the overall experience, making something tart and delicious. Acidity can balance out a cocktail sweetness, and more importantly, the sour cocktail format is just the best cocktail format. The margarita, the mai tai, the daiquiri, and countless more that all lean on acidity. But in the past, you would only use lemon or lime juice, which both have an acidity of about 6%. So your pina colada with pineapple juice might taste too sweet for most of us since pineapple juice is only about 1% acid. To counter this, bartenders would often add in lime or lemon to a drink that didn't call for it to bring up the acidity. But doing so means you're adding the flavor of that lemon or lime juice, you're diluting the cocktail, and often reducing the flavor that you want, like pineapple juice in a pina colada. Acid adjusting became mainstream when Dave Arnold released Liquid Intelligence, and he shares several acid solutions that you can use to adjust cocktails. Even more common today is acid adjusting a particular juice, batch acid adjusting. You'll find this method come up often in the Tropical Standard Book, and the process is simple. You take the juice you want, like pineapple, weigh a certain amount, and then add in an exact amount of acids to adjust it to mimic the acidity of either lemon or lime juice. And while those methods all work and they're pretty easy, the solution we're making today lets you acid adjust any cocktail on the fly in real time. And it's even easier. After you make this solution, you won't need to use a scale and you won't have any wasted or leftover juice. First, we need to make our acid solution. And the way I made it two years ago is perfectly fine. It was just shared in an overcomplicated way because I was figuring that out at that time. But what we need here is a 35% acid solution, and we want that acidity to be made up of citric and malic acid to imitate lime juice. First, I'm gonna take 24 grams of citric acid and add it to a container. Next, I'm gonna weigh 11 grams of malic acid, and I'll add this to that container. And I want this container to be one where I can clearly and easily see a 100 milliliter volume marking. Now I'll add water to fill it up to 100 milliliters. What makes this special is that there are 35 grams of acid per 100 milliliters of solution. That's the magic number because the way we're gonna use this is gonna be per milliliter. And hear me out. For every one milliliter of this solution that you add to one ounce of juice, you will increase the acidity of that juice by 1%. Since we know a lime is 6% acid, I could replace the lime juice with water. In that case, instead of a daiquiri with one ounce of lime juice, I'll add one ounce of H2O. Next, I'll add in six milliliters of the solution to mimic lime. And now my final daiquiri is juiceless, but contains the acidity of one that contains lime juice. It's so odd to see something so clear. Let's try it, cheers. That's fun. It's missing the, the texture of lime juice. It's missing the flavor of lime juice, but it's, it's like it's unlocked flavor from the rum that you would have lost had you added juice to it because it's just a more pure expression of the rum and just like a little bit of sweetness. It's not sweet. And then having the acidity 
there that just makes it sort of bite pop. If I wanted to make a pineapple juice daiquiri, and I know pineapple juice is around 1% acid, I can add in one ounce of pineapple juice and five milliliters of the acid solution because one plus five equals six. Now my pineapple juice daiquiri tastes like it has the acidity of one with lime. And if you're doing this, you don't have to do the full amount. You might find that your fruit is a little bit more acidic. So instead of putting in like five milliliters here, you could start with three, see if you like that. Then after your drink is made, you can then add in more acid. That's what's great about it too. You can kind of workshop things uh, in real time. Cheers. That's excellent too. Just another sort of amplified pineapple flavor playing off of the rum too. And it's funny how different this is from the one with no juice. A lot of that rum gets lost with the pineapple flavor and the sweetness, but there's nothing else mudding this down. There's no lemon, there's no lime flavor. It's just pineapple juice with a, a more punchy acidity to it. How about a strawberry juice daiquiri? Strawberry juice is about 1.5% acid. So I just need to add in 4.5 milliliters of the solution And there we go, a strawberry juice daiquiri that matches the acidity of a traditional daiquiri with lime juice. Cheers. That's great too, just like pure strawberry, like a, if you, like a strawberry smoothie that's like mainly just strawberries and ice. Uh, the, the rum there kind of like in the background too, just way different from the one with no juice, but it's delicious and it's bright and it's fresh. All you need is a tool that can measure one milliliter. I use this children's medication doser that measures up to five milliliters in increments of one, but you can use a pipette, a dropper with a milliliter measurement, and even a small beaker as long as it has a one milliliter mark, and ideally goes up to five. I'll leave some information in this episode's description for different juice acidity, but if the juice you're looking for is not listed, don't expect to be able to find reliable sources online or different acid levels in fruit juice. The pH of a juice is not relevant, so you can't easily test this at home, but it's the titratable acidity that we are looking for. And in general, that information just doesn't exist online that covers everything or all of the fruits. But I am hopeful that someday soon we get a liquid intelligence 2.0 because fingers crossed that information will be available there. Also, just to be a little more accurate, you'll hear me and others talk about fruit juice acidity as a percentage, like limes and lemons being 6% acid, or this solution being 35% acid, but technically they're not. What we have is grams of acid per 100 milliliters. So limes and lemons are roughly six grams of acid per 100 milliliters of solution. And this solution is 35 grams of acid per 100 milliliters of solution. It gets a little bit tricky to most of us that aren't scientists or work in the wine industry where they perform titration tests constantly, but titratable acidity measures the grams of acid in a specific volume. So we are dealing with weight and volume. This question comes up a lot. How long does it last? I think it should last forever, but I don't really know. I've had some kept in my fridge for the last two years and I was using it up until a couple weeks ago when I ran out. This solution is the 1% lime solution and if you wanted to make a 1% lemon solution, you would just use citric acid. So 35 grams of citric acid to a container and then fill to the 100 milliliter line with water. This will be a cleaner, purer citric acid flavor. I'll leave a link to the medication doser that I use. It's also nice because it comes with this lid that's kind of universal, It'll fit different bottle sizes. And if you want to get even more advanced and can find Food safe succinic acid, which is very hard to find right now. You can add in 0.2 grams to the 1% lime solution recipe and have something that matches the acidity of lime even better. But make sure it's food safe and not random stuff on Amazon. In the past, it has been available at the Modernist Pantry. I've actually been waiting to update this video for a year now because they've been out of stock that whole time. So no idea if they're gonna come back in stock with that. But if you can find food safe succinic acid, then I would add that to the lime solution. And just remember to make this work, it's all about acid adjusting a single ounce of juice. So one milliliter of the solution 
plus one ounce of any juice or any liquid equals a 1% increase in acidity. So the whole solution here is designed to increase acidity of just an ounce. And for those of you that use milliliters in measuring cocktails for whatever reason, one ounce equals 30 milliliters. So this will work for you too. So there you go. Acid adjust any cocktail easily in real time. My Acid Solution 2.0, now with a fresh lemon flavor. If you have been using the Acid Solution 1.0, then it still works if you still have some of it. You don't need to update anything. But if you have been using it and you have been using this children's medication doser for your cocktails, let me know in the comments below. I wanna know how often you use it, how much it's changed, how you acid adjust things, if it has changed anything. And let me know if you have any recipes that you've come up with using this solution. So that's it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like below. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I have a Patreon page if you want to support this channel more. And here are two more videos that you might find useful when you're into acid adjust. See you on the next one.